just ran inside to grab the camera because I wanted to show you the sunrise. It is gorgeous. Good morning, my friends. I've only just woken up, so I don't know if I look like I just woke up or not, but it is a beautiful day. And we are now on to day five of this passage. Today is day five, and I just wanna show you these conditions because it's stunning this morning. Like, look at the sea state. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. So comfortable. We're still sailing upwind, but the winds are light and the sea state is very calm. Let's see if we can get this to focus. We're averaging about five knots, going about nine knots of wind, sorry. <laughs> five knots in nine, nine knots of wind. There's this really fun thing that happens on passages that is one of my favorite things and that is getting into the groove of the passage. And for me, I feel like that always happens after day three. Like the first three days, it's exciting. So you, you like doing it because it's fun and it's like new, like day one and two, but like day three is usually rough. But by day four, you kind of just get into the passage groove, meaning you get used to the sleep shifts, you get used to being underway, like you get your sea legs and you just get comfortable. And yeah, so day four, which was yesterday, was just the most spectacular day. We all had such a good day. I don't know if we filmed enough because we were just like playing music all day and just really enjoying ourselves and the dogs too. The dogs like on day three they were like mm. but day four they were like running around the entire boat like doing zoomies all day playing tug of war like cuddling with everybody just being super happy. Every single member of the crew now is like acclimated and full on with the passage. <sighs> And so that for me is a good barrier to cross. And so now we're into day five. So with a good day four in our belt, now we get to do day five. And with how splendid these conditions are, I think it's gonna be a great day. I'm on shift now. Everybody else is still sleeping. I'll show you what they're doing. The amount of love that Penny has for Ayana. Let's talk 
weather. Let's talk weather routing and why we are where we are and what we're thinking for like the next few days. So I'm just gonna show you. Now I want you to know like, when we do our weather routing, we compare a lot of different weather models, like seven of them or something crazy, plus like reading different posts. And anyway, there's a lot that goes into this. Consider this the Cliff Notes version, and I'm only just gonna show you one weather model uh, for sake of time. This white dot right here is us. So I'm just gonna zoom in on us. And as you can see, we are headed into this lull right here today. And the reason we did that is because there was a system that was coming up in this space right here. That, that's that lull right there. And we managed to clear the area, but then it dissipated. So we didn't actually need to, but obviously like you don't wanna be where a storm could potentially be. And so now, right now we're entering kind of this lull, but you can see that we've got this stretch of wind reaching out to us right here. So I don't know if we'll ever get completely becalmed, but by tonight, by this evening, we should be getting into this patch of wind here. And then we'll once again have wind to start heading over. And then at that point, we're gonna be taking an upwind tack. I, I think we'll probably tack north. Just depends, because we'll be going upwind. And then if we go into the future a little bit, you can see we'll have that wind. But then right here, this is a week out from now. Let's see, you couldn't see it very well on this forecast. See that swirl right there? So that is gonna hit basically a week from now. Well, let's see, Monday of next week. So half a week from now, that is going to be where we are, this swirl. And this is not forecast to be pretty bad. Like this is like, I don't know, probably like 20 knots. Yeah, 25 knots. So not bad at all, very manageable. Like if that hit us, it would not be a big deal. However, that is something like when we see systems like that, we don't want to be around those because swirling systems like this have a tendency or at least the ability to build and become stronger than what they are. And especially forecasting this far out, we don't know. So basically in a nutshell, we headed dead east to avoid the first storm system. We cleared the area, all good. Turns out that that storm dissipated even better because that means there's no chance of it tracking towards us or anything like that. And now there's one more like wannabe storm. It's not even a storm and it'll hit right where we are now in five days. So five days from now, we'll be like way past this area. Um, a lot of it just depends on how accurate the weather forecasting is for that lull in the middle. Um, so we may or may not run the engine. We'll see. Okay, it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm gonna wake up the crew because they should be awake enjoying this conditions. Right now they're asleep enjoying the conditions. So I mean, that's something. But, hello darling, good morning. The morning is almost over and it's a beautiful day and I made coffee. Yay. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Apparently the dogs are ready to wake up finally too. Good morning everybody. Let's see if we can get Ayana. Yeah, come here. Ayana. Yeah. Good morning. Stop trying to convince her to stay sleeping. This is why. Oh my gosh, it's 10. Gosh. How's your neck today? A little better. Just getting there. <laughs> the dogs want to go potty. Wow. And they want some water. Oh, your water bowl is empty. Do you want a drink? We can only fill it up a little bit and then we have to refill it all the time so that it doesn't spill. Come on! Get you a drink! <laughs> Ready? You look like a pirate! Thanks! <laughs> I'm a pirate now. I need coffee. Oh yeah. We are getting the boat ready to tack because we have been on the same starboard tack this entire time for, it's now day four. Five. Yeah, it's Damn. five. <laughs> I need to start counting braids. Yeah, you <laughs> need to have the right amount of braids in your head. <laughs> All right, five days. And it's, we need to tack because there's wind south of us, but we're currently headed kind of north. So we're going to tack to get down to that south-ish wind. But the boat, everything is kind of set on the port side of the boat. But 
as soon as we tack, it's all gonna end up on the scrubber's edge. We need to clean stuff up and then we can tack. And today is laundry day. And laundry kind of just day? general cleaning day. Yeah. Calm days like this, especially right in the middle of the passage like today, is the best. Yes. Brett showing off some nice cheek today. <laughs> Trying to compete. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get dog pee line? Yeah. Gross. Aww. Probably washed it well enough. Five days at sea. This is my longest time at sea. I feel great. I mean, we had one rough day. Everything else has been super smooth. But we are just chilling. So we've seen what four boats in the last five days. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so it's not as tedious as a short sail. We're just kind of all hanging out. Everyone's like, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That feels good. And that feels good. Will and Olia were saying last night, because they don't have a bimini at all. Mm -hmm. And so they were saying last night they were just laying there watching the line of Starlink satellites going in. They said it looked like a train. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's almost kind of a bummer that the weather has been so good. It makes it less of an accomplishment. Like we're not being like these hardcore sailors. We're just out here on vacation. I think it shows that we know what we're doing because we didn't choose a shitty weather window. <laughs> Speak so soon. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so far, right the window's been good, but there's still another <laughs> half of this window we gotta get through. Get it! I can go, boy. Do you wanna go fishing? Oh! Bring it here! Good girl! <laughs> nice! We got fish bait. <laughs> Thank you, Penny. Oof. What's happening in here? I'm eating I'm chips and salsa while happening. I'm making blueberry pancakes. <laughs> Quite the combo. Great. Sorry, I can go stop. And it's strange. Ayana is crushing it. Check this out. I was working on the computer and she just brought me this. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Jay just correcting one patron name. Also waiting on her pancakes. <clears throat> What'd you just say? I said passage pancakes. Nice lumbar you got there. You've got a good arrangement. No, don't spin on the ground. <laughs> got my eyes on her. That's right. We're doing laundry. Back to the cockpit. Come. Okay. Let's not go any further forward because we want to tack here not too long. It is so beautifully calm out that we're doing laundry. Yep. Ayana's detailing the galley. Jay's doing laundry. I just got our predict wind update updated. The whole concept is getting ready for the rest of the passage yep. for when the wind picks up again. So kind of a reset. Ooh, time to work out. And Ayana's got the weights out here I saw. Or at least like five pounds of them. I was like halfway done with my workout and then I was like, mm, I feel like cleaning. <laughs> I just like started going at it. Love it. I get in those moods sometimes. But we gotta finish the workout now. We're still headed south. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit so it's almost time to tack and head east again. I'm hoping the laundry will dry out by the time it's time to tack. I think it's further enough back though that it won't be a problem to get caught on one of the jib sheets, but we shall see. We're just going through all the comments. There's a lot of really, really fun comments. So thanks for everybody leaving comments on this video. And someone guessed my song right. It's Tennessee Whiskey. Tennessee Whiskey. Woo! And there's been a couple comments saying it doesn't taste like apples. 
Yes. So you're not too Someone far said off. Chocolate almond milk. Chocolate almond milk. Yeah. Nice. It is gluten-free rice bread bread making time. The rice has been soaking since yesterday. It's been about 24 hours. So we're gonna drain the water and put it into, we're using a blender, a Vitamix. So you need some sort of blender, like a high power blender. Context for those who are not in the know. Brett has been making this amazingly delicious, like life altering, as I called it, gluten free bread made out of rice. He makes it for me because I have a really bad gluten allergy and I can't eat any gluten at all, even like micro amounts will make me sick. So he has made probably 40 loaves of bread and has been tweaking this recipe to make the perfect gluten-free bread to feed me because how sweet do you want this loaf or this batch? because I want you to make it how you did the last one because okay. um acts of service is his love language so he's casually been showing me love by making the perfect bread recipe and he's gonna share it with you guys because he loves you too I did four tablespoons of brown sugar you can do more or less brown sugar like if you're doing it for like uh, pizza crust for example do less maybe only do one if you're gonna make something sweeter I think of the most I've ever done is eight and it's a really sweet bread like a dessert kind of bread. So I'm doing four in this one because this is gonna be more of just kind of a sweeter sandwich bread. And everything just goes in. And then I'm gonna do a cup of warm water. Olive oil or butter. Butter will make it a little bit creamier, like softer, but I almost always use olive oil just because it's easier. Three tablespoons. Teaspoon, a tisp of salt. You can use the rapid yeast or not rapid yeast. I, we recently bought the rapid one because that's what, like Jay said, that's all they had. And I let it rise way too long and it like bubbled over the pan and was a big mess. So if you're using the rapid yeast, it goes a lot faster. I would recommend it. I actually think it makes the loaf better, honestly. Two and a quarter, which I think is a packet if you're just using packets. Okay, so we're gonna throw it on the blender and blend it until it's warm. I am just boiling our little bread pans. These are amazing. So we've tried a couple different pans and these are by far the favorites. I think it actually does better with smaller loaves. The bigger ones, they tend to go and then they kind of collapse. And I think maybe just because it doesn't have the gluten to hold it all together, but it's really hard to keep a big loaf together. Um, you have to be really careful about how long you let it rise. Smaller ones are a lot more forgiving. But yeah, just oiling it and let it rise until it's about 50% bigger and then we'll cook it. Just a couple tips that I've learned from doing this is that you want to, the reason you're soaking the rice is because if you don't, it ends up being kind of like chalky. Also, if you scrape it, you're gonna end up with that chalky taste again. So we're just gonna use what kind of comes out easily and that's it. And just cover and let it rise. This, it just needs to be somewhere warm-ish and then you can start preheating the oven in maybe 10 to 15 minutes to 375. 375 degrees. Fahrenheit is 190 degrees Celsius, according to this little thing. So, 375 or 190, depending yeah. on where in the world you are. All the other measurements, good luck though. <laughs> I have no idea what a cup is in any other metric. Mm, that's a good point. Why is the imperial system so awful? I don't know. <laughs> One tablespoon. Okay. I think, did they not use tablespoons in Europe? No, I think they use like grams. So they have a scale? I guess. I think like true bakers do everything by weight anyway. Well, yeah, but what about the average Joe? Or like the average Joseph? I don't know, what's an average European name? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, is Joe an average name over there too? I guess we'll find out when we go to the Azores. I've been asking kind of why we turned south recently and I just want to show you why. So we're here, we're the white dot and we're heading down into this band but we're about to tack because that band is gonna move up a little bit. So we should be able to jump into that and head east. We came south so we could get to that band and now we can start heading east again to stay in it. And we should, I mean, if the forecasts continue, we should have wind all the way to the Azores, uh, but it looks like it may end up being upwind, uh, at least for a chunk of it. Which honestly, that's not that big a deal. Um, as long as it doesn't, uh, as long as the sea state doesn't get too bad, we really don't mind sailing upwind. We've actually been sailing upwind most of this trip so far, either on a beam or upwind. So we don't mind. Eva sails really well upwind. Nice. It's been 20 minutes. Put a little water on top. On the breads? On the breads. This should probably be better with a spray bottle if you have one that's yeah. safe. I think all our spray bottles have cleaning stuff in them. 
And then I'm also gonna put water on the pan. So that way there's water kind of in here and it's gonna steam and keep the whole oven humid because otherwise the tops will crack and just be kind of crumbly. So this at least helps. You up for it? Yeah. You want me to steer? Nope. Or... I can steer. Okay. Ready to release that line? Attacking! Ready? Alright, let's see how much east we can get. <laughs> We're sunscreen, people. So. I was just sitting here being like, oh my gosh, I can't this, this is a pretty good like juxtaposition. <laughs> Ayana's sitting out here wearing a little bikini and Jade's like sweatpants and about to go get a beanie and a sweatshirt. And I was just saying like it was so nice this morning right when the sun rose when it was warm and I was just sitting in the sun and enjoying the warmth of the day before it got cold this afternoon. <laughs> it got cold for Jade when the sun came up more. When, <laughs> got... her, when her sunburn set in. <laughs> I got sunburned this morning. When I was sitting out here just enjoying the sunshine, I got burned and now I'm like freezing. And I, <laughs> the second ago, I was just like, I can't believe how cold it is. And both Brett and Ayana just like look at each other and look at me. <laughs> I'm over here like stretching, basking in the sun, having a grand old day. And I'm thinking you must be so cold. <laughs> but I think it's a personal problem once I realized it was warmer at 8 a.m. <laughs> But yeah, we just tacked. We went south for most of the day today. Well, probably half the day today to get down to where that band of wind is. And now I think we have reached it and we should have wind for the foreseeable future. And now we're headed east again, kind of northeast to hopefully stay in that band of wind. We are only 40 miles from our friends. Yeah, people have been asking, you know, where's where's this group of boats that you've been trying to catch up to? And we have been catching them slowly, slower than slower than I think we thought we would. But well, we said three days. We really fast the first day, yeah. and then, then we've kind of just been going the same speed now. Yeah, we've been still slowly catching them, but slower than we were the first day. The first day we gained like 100 miles on them. Um, but yeah, you said they're 40 miles yep. ahead right now? <laughs> it's just a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> you probably can't see this. I'm but, uh, notorious for putting on a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> I look over and I am just... <laughs> I'm just like bathing in it. I'm trying to stay youthful here. There you go. Would you, like my Would, you like your Would you like my potato? Would you like my potato? I think I saw them. They were right here because we should be like pointed right at them basically now. And they look, look at that. Do you know where um, it... Julian and she said they said they were just west? So I bet you that this is Julian. Just west. Oh, just, just west, west of, of them. Oh, okay. And we're also just west of them right now. So I bet you that's uh, uh, Sophia and Julian. Yeah. Julian. Julian. What? Oh, I keep missing it. I was just cracking up at all the green onions going all over the counter. <laughs> I completely missed. Would you like this one? <laughs> Have you ever been to the Big E? No, you probably haven't. The Big E. Have you ever been to the Northeast? The Big E is a big fair that happens every year, and it's like a, it's like a compilation of all the different states in the Northeast, and there's a house for each state. And they all have like a specialty food. And I think it's Maine or Vermont that has the baked potato one. It's like the most popular one. You just load up your potato with all the goodness. I put butter, cheese, sour cream, chives. Although the sour cream got a little frozen, so I'm excited though. I don't think I said how long I cooked it. I cooked it for 35, but sometimes it's anywhere from 35 and 40. just kind of depends on the day. A tiny bit longer. You want it to be just barely like golden brown on top and that's still kind of white. So we'll give it a little bit longer. A couple more minutes. What time is it? Braid time. Braid number five. Braid five. Done this passage alone. Oh my gosh, it's an AG1 commercial. Oh my goodness. If you guys had done this passage alone, do you think that like you would have been awake during the day like this? No, One of us would be sleeping. sleeping a lot more the, the you just kind of nap all the time. Someone's always sleeping. These guys would have been struggling. For sure, yeah, we'd be this, really tired. Yeah, now. we'd be tired, but it's been calm enough that we would have been okay. It really just gets hard when it's rough. Like, 
because I feel like we've had it really easy. Like, yeah. Yeah. We're really enjoying this. Like, five days? That's a long time. Yeah, and I feel like we're all doing great stuff. Yeah. It is kind of crazy to think about. Five days is a long time. It's a long time. We're coming time. up on a week. It's it, longer than I've ever been at C4. So it is... I don't even have words to describe how much nicer a passage is with a third person. Yeah. Getting Same. the sleep is just awesome. Yeah. Um, if I find a boat in Europe, we might Ooh, just have to buddy boat. That would be awesome. That would actually be or so we can cool. just tow it and like all there you do go. A watch or, on one boat. <laughs> or do that? here's what we do. We get Sasha out and me you and Sasha sail your boat across. Yeah. And then we'll have to find somebody for you. Your brothers. <laughs> Or, or like Raph. Like, I want to say there's a Raph. Oh, well, Raph would probably want to stay and watch his boat. Uh, I guess so. I can get my brothers in on it. That'd be pretty I cool. Have a little brother's trip. They'd Girls be down. Girls vs. Guys race. But you have to buy fast boats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting a fast you, You'll boat. see like me just <laughs> dumping like the toolbox. And, like, I'm like <laughs> casually throwing wrenches yeah. overboard. <laughs> Only the necessities. Put the orcas on them. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Have a like orca scent on the rudder. I, I, I do my research on the uh, whale calls and send the sonar down. <laughs> Jade, red. Mm, I can smell it. I was looking for the camera. I didn't think you had it. Mmm, that smells so good. It does. Honey, I cannot smell it. Like, what, how long has it been? Five minutes ago? It's because it wasn't done yet. The top's got a little cracked. That's okay. Not much though. Not bad. Did you add water halfway through like you usually no, do? No, and I, didn't, I don't think I put enough on the pan. It's all dry. Usually when I take it out, there's still some water bubbling, like boiling on the pan. But I didn't put enough. And then you can also spritz the tops. I've seen Brett do that before. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to leave them in the pan um, just to make sure the bottoms get all the way cooked. Otherwise, it can be a little bit doughy on the bottom. So let them sit for a while. But that's oh. it. Bread. So that was 40 minutes. I had a request of scissors for this hair braiding. <laughs> it's getting dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> What's shifts looking like? You're, Jade's you're... definitely sleeping first. Why well, I slept yeah. first last night. Yeah, you're still sleeping first tonight. <laughs> yeah. I think that, I don't think there's an optional definitely change on that too. one. Okay. I don't know if I can. I because I, I what I needed was a nap today, but I drank too much caffeine. Mm. When? What did you drink? I had like three cups of coffee this morning while I was editing while you guys were sleeping. Ah. But I'm feeling it still. Mm, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you good? Mm -hmm. That's my brush. Oh. Yeah, pull the entire seat kind of towards the center of the boat. Very slippery. And I went in to check the hydraulic fluid. <laughs> Quarter full right now. Okay. What was your professional opinion? <laughs> it's not very professional, but I was just saying it seems like it's trying to pull uh, more liquid than is in there. Getting a little bit of air, maybe? Yeah. I'm gonna take a look. Yep. Thanks. Yep. What do you think? Yeah, it is a little bit low, but it's not leaking out of where it was before. Well, maybe a little bit actually. Amazing. Super, super, super important about this bread is it's really the best on day one. Like today will be the best and then it very quickly deteriorates. Tomorrow it will be like 20% as good as it is today. It just, it, I've tried freezing it, I've tried putting it in the fridge, I've tried putting it in Ziploc, I've tried wrapping it, and it just does not keep. So make it, use it, and enjoy. The only caveat about the using it thing is you can store it and if you want to use it later it does make sandwiches but it really does good with hot sandwiches because for I think maybe it's just the sugar in it or what it um, toasts really well on a pan 
Uh, not so well like in an air fryer or a regular toaster. It really needs like the, the heat pushing right on it to kind of uh, caramelize. It kind of caramelizes the outside of it and it is delicious. So hot sandwiches are really good even, you know, three days in. Ooh, baby. That's a good one. Oh man. So fluffy, so perfect. Like a cloud of magic. Yeah. You wanna get? Copyright? Nope. No copyrighted. <laughs> Day five, braid five, ship five that we've seen. Can you see it from here? No. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we've been pretty solitary out here. Yeah. Although we just saw, no, it was the container ship that we were ship. seeing. Yeah, we saw the ship, what, like 20 miles out? And we've kind of been watching them get closer and closer and closer, and then there he goes. Yeah, but we are, what, 40 miles from... Mm -hmm. from our friends. From friends. Yep. So hopefully we'll catch up to them so we can actually say hi. And it'd be really cool That'd if we can, cool. like, get close to them. And Radio distance. Yeah. It'd be cool if we get, like, sight. I don't know if we will, but it'd be really cool if we did. Hey, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the first throw, people throw that up, we've seen. Throw up a loaf of bread. <laughs> That'd be cool. I did, like, a... A tight weft today. Very Viking-esque. So I wonder if I have any Viking ancestry. That would be cool. I am such an all-American girl, girl and what that Good means girl. is that I am all of Europe mixed together. My genealogy. I'm like, genealogy. take every Caucasian, like, European nation, nationality, put it all in a big pot, mix it all together, you get Jade. Yeah, like one of my biggest things is Danish. I have a couple of sisters that pull very Danish looking. And then one of my other biggest genealog genealogical roots is actually Croatian, which if you look on our family trees, there's no Croatians there. So somebody somewhere had an affair huh. <laughs> because my grandpa did his DNA tests and it came back like he was like 50% Croatian, uh, but neither of his parents were Croatian. So oh boy. <laughs> Ayana and I were just talking about it because we have some very similar facial structurings. Ayana is Greek, and so I'm thinking maybe because maybe Croatia regionally, maybe there's some... Yeah. And I feel like sometimes I pull very Russian looking, like very Eastern European looking. So I could definitely see some from there. Uh, Brett's got a lot from the UK. Yeah, Welch. Welch. We should do the tests and then tour the areas in Europe where we have ancestry. I definitely want to go Two to Denmark. Two on radar. Cool. Wow, party out here. There. We got company. Ocean's feeling small. No, actually, it's not at all. How wild is it that we can't see land? That is such a concept that prior to doing this lifestyle and being on a boat and having the experience of not being able to see land, I always thought it would be really freaky. I thought it would be anxiety inducing and be like kind of scary, but I find it very peaceful. I see a boat there. Yeah. That's one of the two. Good job. I spotted it. Yeah. It's just tiny on the horizon. I just got done vacuuming the cockpit. Much less dog hairy, except for now both the dogs just came outside, so arguably more dog hair now. And it smells delicious in here. I am making sandwiches. One thing about these breads is that the first day they are more difficult to cut into slices. But they taste better. They taste better the first day, but if you put them in a Ziploc bag the second day, they slice for sandwiches really well. And they make really good hot sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, is that they caramelize when you toast them, and it's just scrumptious. The light is going crazy, because the clothes are flapping in the wind out there. <laughs> what was I see again? Arctic. Freezing. Freezing. <laughs> Brett is really struggling with the days of the passage, what day it is. So I'm giving him braids. So if he forgets, he can just count. And he was feeling left out. And that sun is right behind us because we're going east, baby. <laughs> I think the dogs are cold. Is that what's happening? I think are you cold? Too windy. End of day five. Five days is a lot of days at It's sea. only day three. Look. I know. I did three braids, and then once we're done with the movie, I'll have Brett roll over, and I'm going to give him three braids on the other side, so when he wakes up in the morning, he'll have six. I'm 
and he'll know it's day six because our system doesn't work. I'm, I'm yeah, really our system six. doesn't work because we're doing the braids at the end of the day and Brett can't handle it. Just putting on our jackets, closing up the enclosure a little bit because the sun went down and it cooled off real quick. But we found wind again. We motored for about 45 minutes just to get a little more east. We knew there was wind east, and so we just, instead of tacking and maybe missing it, we motored for a minute. Now we're in the wind again. So motor's off, and we're sailing along. Still doing, what, five knots still? Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half. Brett's taking first shift tonight. And then me? I'll do middle. Oh, and then Jade. Good night. So while I'm night shift, I'm curious if either of you have this happen. Okay. Do either of you have the blue light reflecting on the pole right there? Yes. yes. Where you're constantly thinking there's a boat on the horizon? Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on our radar, the radar's still kind of new to us. The radar has two little lights that shine down, and they just kind of reflect on things. It's nice having the little blue light. But yeah, it definitely reflects. Like out of the corner of your eye, yes. like, whoa. Yep. Yep. Yes. <laughs> That's <Always>. really funny. <laughs> yep. It's funny that it's an unsaid thing that we've all experienced. <laughs> and we've all acknowledged it. Yep, okay. Like that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, play around soon. Hello. Were you talking to someone? I was talking to both of you. Oh, cool, was I wasn't listening. listening. No, I was outside. I was not. I was saying... We need to be vigilant about the snowboats. Yeah, people. Adventure Locker, they're the boat. They are currently ahead of us. About 50 miles. And about 20 miles ahead of us is Lily Ron, which is Julian and Sophie. And so, anyway, I was talking to Adventure Locker, and they have wind where they're able to go due east, which is what we want. So I think we all just need to. Yeah, go. right now we're headed like southeast. Yeah, we need to keep a close watch on the wind angle because at some point tonight we should be able to go due east, assuming we get the winds that they're currently mm -hmm. getting. And then, um,. Julian and Sophie are close to us enough that we should be vigilant about looking for their lights. Deal. So, we'll know if we see them. Yep. I, the, honestly, the math problem of like if we could possibly run into them in this huge ocean. Except for we're all trying to use the same little puff of wind. Yeah, but still. But yes. But we should pay attention though. We should. I am setting up Lichos because we're on this heel now. And somebody just asked, why do we not use the master bedroom while under sale? And it's because it doesn't have, well, mostly it's because at the front of the boat, like how it is, there is a lot more movement up and down. Mm -hmm. And also there's no walls on either end. So you kind of just like roll off onto the shelf. Yeah. There's so no, there's no like brace yourself. straight, it's angled like this. So you, yeah. But yeah, the biggest thing is that it goes up and down a ton up there. Yeah, that's the biggest. <laughs> You ready for bed, little one? Mm-hmm. She does not want to. That was funny of Penny, but she answered. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you released some, like, uh, like, uh, lymphatic drainage or something, but I'm so dazed right now oh, from yeah. this facade. I know his neck has been bothering her, so I've been trying to Since work that we, out. Since uh, we did our workout the other night. <laughs> you should chug some water. Yeah, I have it in here. Okay. You can go to bed. Good night. <laughs>